And the way I like to do it is I take a clued spray, which is typically used to fit a casting, and I spray it on the pontic, try it in the mouth, and now when I remove it, you'll see exactly where I need to carve. So I take away the bridge, and where that nice pink is, is where I need to carve the tissue. And whether you do it with a burr or an electrosurge or a laser, I've done it with all of them, and it seems equally effective. This happens to be a loop on the electrosurge. So I remove the tissue, I try the bridge back in. What I'm looking for is to get the bridge in with minimal pressure on the ridge. I don't want to watch that bridge push that pontic tissue apically. I want the tissue to basically sit still while the bridge fits up into it. And it's just a repetitive process of carving, trying it in, carving, trying it in, until we actually get where the bridge goes in with minimal movement of the tissue, and then we can cement it. And here what I'm doing is measuring just to get a sense for tissue thickness, because I know I want to leave at least two millimeters of tissue over the bone, but in an area that's been grafted like this, typically bone isn't a problem. There's not bone in the way. And just checking to be sure the margins are actually down all the way before we then go in and do the temporary cementation of this bridge.